How are you, my darling? Hi. <laughs> it's so good to see you. Thank God. <laughs> to bear. Hmm? I know what you're thinking. God has been good. God has blessed your friend. I'm shocked too. <laughs> yeah. If I say I'm not shocked, I'm lying. Ah. He went from collecting clues from people to posting it on your Instagram to sell for a cut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How did you? Tife, it's grace. God has just been faithful. God has blessed me, that's all. If you had a chance to, you know, change something about your life, what would it be? Please don't mention love or man, because I will woes you. Ah, obviously, I want to upgrade my business. Woman, I'm just saying all that rubbish. So I know you think that, you know, a man is behind all this, but there's no one like that. Let me put it this way. Someone gave me something to help my business. And I can give it to you if you want. If I want. I want now. Ah, Tipe, you have arrived. Ah. OK, OK. Yeah. Rule number one. Shh. Hey, no problem. I'll not tell anybody. Good. See the way clients are just pulling you back to back. Sister, I go do. Please ah. go do. Just that one cleaning I did last yeah. week. That's where all these jobs are coming from. Ah. Now, wow. His grace God is way. upon me. Cut me. I'm employing workers daily. Ha! He won't go to another rich this place. Another hey, rich like this, so. <laughs> I, I told you now. There are too much. Ah, it's God, though. Thank you. Thank you for showing me the real way. It's God. It's God. So that's all for just the hustle. They break our back for this Lagos. Meanwhile, lucky girls are busy using grace powder. Grace powder all the way. <laughs> Grace powder. <laughs> so let's talk about this one, Lakey or Nothing. The reason why I feel like this is an important movie to discuss is, you know, because it really boils down to what everybody is looking for. Money, cash, quiddy, hazard. You know, and definitely with the emergence of social media, you know, people tend to... You know, start seeing a lot of people flaunting money. Uh, half the time or probably 80% of the time, it's really fake life. Uh, so they're flaunting what they really don't have. Because the truth is that the people that really have it, you know, uh, most of the times they're really careful on flaunting. But doesn't mean that you're not free to flaunt your money if you, you know, if you've made it. Uh, it's just that, you know, some people choose not to. But the bottom line here is that social media has, you know, brought this thing out to light. So things that people would normally not see, here they go now, you know, watching it every day. You know, you wake up, somebody is posting a car or posting how they're throwing money in the air. Well, I guess there's no more throwing money these days because... You know, EFCC has, you know, started pulling this bank regulation law that prevents that. But, you know, um, if they're not buying cars, they're, you know, flaunting dresses or it's, you know, one thing or another. And what it does is it makes people feel like, you know, am I a nail? Am I a hammer? Am I a chair? You know, makes people feel like they're not accomplished anything you know if this person that's the same age as me is able to you know be pulling a gle mercedes you know what am i doing with my life so a lot of people start feeling like failures and you know then they start looking for how to you know come up and you know the truth is you're gonna hear a lot of these things oh it's grace oh it's grace oh it's you know the god's doing you know, everybody says that, you know, it doesn't even matter if they, you know, kidnapped somebody to make the money. They're still going to say it's grace. So, you know, <laughs> I think 99% of the time, people shouldn't be believing that it's a grace thing. But the thing is this, there is nothing like getting rich quick. Now, Definitely, there are certain things that you can be doing and, you know, you know, chance and luck can meet somewhere in the middle of your, you know, journey. 
and you will, you know, succeed or you will make a lot of money. Something like, you know, trading stocks or cryptos or something like that. You might buy something and, you know, few months later or a year later and, you know, it blows up and you make so much money. Yes, there's things like that. But all this overnight success is really rare. You know, if you're trading, let's say if you're in the business of buying and selling, it's very rare that you're going to, you know, become a billionaire from just one shipment. Even those that win contracts to build the roads or build some sort of government contract, if they actually do the work right, they are not programmed to become millionaires from that transaction. You know, but because the people cut corners and, you know, don't do the job and, you know, just, you know, take all this kickback so you give the job to a contractor, but you force them to only use 30% of the allocation to do it. Of course, they are not going to do a good job because they are not even receiving enough funds. But, you know, of course, people don't care. So these are kind of things, you know, dirty things that people do here. There, besides the regular things like drugs and all that stuff. But here's the thing. There's nothing like overnight richness. It's nothing like that. Anytime somebody tells you that, they did something and they're gonna tell you is grace but please stay on your lane it's never grace there's nothing like overnight success you have to work for it now over time definitely anything you're doing and doing well you're gonna succeed and you're definitely gonna probably make a lot of money from it you know if you manage it right but, you know, ladies, gentlemen, I beg, stop believing that is grace and there's overnight success. There is nothing like that. Your pastor cannot pray you into money. There's nothing like that. You have to work for it. And work over a period of time. Even if it's a passive business where you invest and then you sit back. Most of the time, you have to sit back for a while. You know, we have a lot of people that make money from stocks, you know, dividend stocks. And it could easily become like a source of regular income till you blow. But the truth is, you know, it's gradual. You know, it's gradual. And so is every other thing with business. It takes time. It takes a lot of effort, it takes time, it takes dedication, it takes perseverance. And down the line, you're definitely going to make it. Parents, I also want to appeal to you guys, because you guys are the next level of people that get affected with this. If your son or daughter leaves the house and two months later, they blow. Ask them where they came up with the money. There is nothing like overnight blowing. So ask your kids if they go out and they leave the house and a month later they come back with a Mercedes, they come back with this. Ask them who they robbed. Let me just say it. Ask them who they swindled because there is nothing like overnight success. So this movie, you guys should go and watch it. The title again is Lakey or Nothing. Uh, it was an amazing movie, a lot of things to teach. And, uh, you know, you'll definitely love it. I feel like it delivered a big lesson that everybody needs to know. So for everybody else, the hard workers, the people that are striving, you know, to make it big, keep up with the work. Keep on, keep on keeping on. You know, down the line, you're definitely going to succeed. And, um, you know, don't let all this internet you know, scammers that are posting fake adventures and fake successes, you know, don't let them, you know, make you guys feel bad or bring down your morale, you know, keep on your good work, you know, and sooner or later, you're going to make it and, you know, you're going to make it big too. Good luck with your businesses out there. If you love this kind of content, please like, share, subscribe, follow. This is CJ from McNary Studios and I'm here 
to deliver sense.